offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. Isang magandang magandang araw po mga kasambuhay, magandang buhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul at kura paro ko ng Our Lady of Sorrows dyan po sa F.B. Harrison, Pasay City. Bumabati po sa inyo, doing all for the gospel. Sa ngalan po ng aking mga kapatid na mga pari, brothers, mga junior profess at mga seminarista dito po sa aming ecclesiastical province ng Pilipinas at Macau sa ngalan din po ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila partikular ang bikariato po ng Santa Clara de Montepalco diyan po sa Pasay at sa ngalan din po ng TV Maria ang atin pong mission partners kayo po'y aming niyayaya na makimisa, makiisa. Ngayon po ang huling linggo ng buwan ng Marso. O, oh, tapos na po ang first quarter ng 2020, ikalimang linggo, huling linggo ng Marso, ito rin po ang ikalimang linggo ng Kwaresma. Okay? March 29, 2020. At atin pong binabati, ang atin pong mga regular na mga kadaupang palad dito po sa ating sambuhay, TV Mass, ang atin pong mga lolo, lola, mga cancer patients na nagpapagaling, yung inyo pong mga caregivers, gayon din po ang ating mga militar at personel ng pulisya, at yung mga busy-busy na mga doktor at mga health workers lalo-lalo na po dahil sa ating health situation ngayon dito sa Pilipinas and elsewhere. We would like also to greet and to pray para po sa ating mga OFWs na alam po natin ay uh, mga masugid natin na mga kasama linggo-linggo. Dito po sa apostoladong ito at uh, of course, mula po sa Canada, ang grupo po ni Brother Alex Pideris, si uh, Dorothy Santos Merck, Ani Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes, uh, Joy at Alex Reyes, Dr. Joe Adorna, Guzman at Alicia Adorna, at ang inyo pong mga kanya-kanyang mga pamilya. Gayun din po, we would like to pray for our long time na mga kasambuhay, si Leslie Masigan, kasama po ang kanyang mga anak na si Miguel, Sami at Jake, si Tony at Lourdes Chowa, kasama ang mga anak at mga apo, si Ed at Norma Arrojado, si George at Noemi Villarus, kasama po ang kanilang Villarus and Villarus, Certified Public Accountants, no? At ang Didith at Joey Jacob ng Ligaya ng Panginoon at Workers of Christ. Si Mariel Diaz ng Standard Marketing and Trading, ang kusina ni Kambal, ni Irma, at ni Delio San Miguel. Si Corazon Ochoa Rosita Kauyan ng Discovery Bay. Si Alma Gonzalez at ang kanyang buong pamilya. Dumalaw po sa atin sa Our Lady of Sorrows. No? Uh, at gayon din po ang ating mga long-time love offerers si na Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban, Leilani Paladio Himotea. Binabati rin po natin at isinasama 
sa mas intentions po natin ngayong ikalimang linggo ng kwaresma, ang pamilya po ni uh, Domingo at Lourdes Corpus, dyan po sa Iloco Sur, sa Bigan at sa Bantay, ah, lalo-lalo na po ang kanilang mga anak. No? And then of course, the newfound friends that we have mula po sa mga pilgrimage, na? ang spell group ng March 2019, ang Holy Land Group ng October 2018, kasama po si na Father Joe Abs, Randy, Charlie, Father Joy, at ang magkakaibigan na si na Attorney uh, Grace, Lara, si uh, Mary Joyce Brillo, Jimmy Olaso, si Geraldine C, si Doctora Cora Cabral, Attorney Jane San Benaventura, Ninyo Molina, at uh, si Anton Santos at Juliet O'Reilly, si Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok. No? At gayon din po ang pamilya po ni Highland at Rose Lee kasama si Chrissy and si Rose Bell D. at William D. Gayon din po ang magiinang Dana, Kathleen at Tal, ang mag-asawang Grace Polido Tan at Nonoy Tan at si Silbet, of course, no? At gayon din po, we would like to greet uh, si Willie. Willie, happy birthday! Willie Onglao at si Arlina Onglao at uh, si Marites dyan po sa office ng Journeys of Faith. We would like also to greet the Recto Group, oh, ang grupo po ni Tito Manny at Tita Lulu, na itong buwang ito ng Marso, 61st wedding anniversary po nila. Nung nag-pilgrimage po kami, 68, no? nung 2019. And then, ang Workers of Christ, ni uh, uh, group po ng pilgrimage ni Jen Castillo. Okay? And the October-November pilgrimage group ng Journeys of Faith pa rin, Uh, kinabibilangan po ng aking seatmate na si Gay At gayon din po si Lady Bird at si Ramon At si Maricel Salapantan At gayon din po si Noel, Mercy at Trish At uh, si Father Divino Santos Rabang sa Ilocosur Kasama po ang kanyang nanang Marie At gayon din po si Maria Teresa Aboitis at si Mara Diyan lang po sila malapit sa parokya sa Our Lady of Sorrows malapit no at si Lita at Mario Aningalan. Okay, and we would like to continue to pray and appreciate yung pong ating mga love operators si Jeffrey Porcalia, Alejandro Santos, Lydia Felipe Pascual, May Hope Sanchez Ondap, Gamahel Apilado, Jasmer Mabras Tomoling, Luceline Ambahador, isa pong hindi nagpakilala mula sa La Union, si Remejio Maculado Jr., Noel Areta, Miguel Alcantara, Jessica Ampolocchio Gay, Samson de la Salde Baja, Rico Villa Mercado, John Dexter Servitillo Rol. Florante Senisa Maria Cleofe Anson, uh, Maureen Lopez Moral at Rosalinda Santa Maria. We would like also to thank and to pray para po kay uh, Dr. Rico Martin and Axel Gerochi at si Dr. Azel Jade Tan ng Gerochi Dental and Implant Center sa fourth floor ng Montibar Building Jupiter Makati recommended po natin for all your dental needs no they have a, a very good service very good facilities diyan po sa Montibar Building Jupiter Makati Ngayon po sa ikalimang linggo ng Kwaresma palagay ko po ang napakahalagang word na ipinapakita sa atin dito po sa atin pong ikalimang linggo ng kwaresma is that uh, God is a God of life. Dadaanan po natin ang Semana Santa pagkatapos nito 
And alam nyo po, dahil sa influence ng Spanish brand of Christianity, yung mga Espanyol talagang pinagnilayan nila yung the suffering of Christ. Yan. Kaya nga po, hanggang ngayon, kung pumunta kayo sa Espanya at titignan nyo yung mga rebulto ng crucifixion, Nazareno, Santo Entiero, ah, Senyor Sentenciado, Senyor de la Pasencia, lahat mong ito ay mga napaagandang imahen ng Panginoong Yesus na binebenerate ng mga Espanyol, they all emphasize on the great suffering of the Lord. Maganda po yun. Pero nakakalimutan natin kung minsan that amidst the suffering, God is a God of life. Diyos ng buhay. Hindi po ito ang katapusan. Diyos ng buhay. At ito po ang pinapaalala sa atin sa mga pagbasa ng ikalimang linggo bago tayo tumungo sa Semana Santa sa darating na linggo. Magsisimula po ang ating Liturgy of the Word sa linggong ito sa Ezekiel chapter 37, ang tinatawag po nating Apokalipsis ng Old Testament. At anong, ang ganda po ng sabi ni, ng Diyos kay Ezekiel, I will open your graves, bubuksan ko ang inyong mga libingan. Hindi yan ang katapusan, hindi ang libingan. Okay? kung hindi ang libingang walang laman. Di ba? Resurrection. And, sa second reading naman po natin, sabi po ng sulat ng Apostol Pablo sa mga Kristiyano ng Roma, You are in the Spirit. Ang Spiritu hindi namamatay. Ang katawan namamatay. Pero ang Spiritu lives forever. Ito ang plano ng Diyos sa atin. No? And of course, sa atin pong Ibanghelyo, John chapter 11, maririnig po natin ang pinakasukdulan na tanda o sign o himala na ginawa po ng Panginoong Yesus. At yan ay walang iba kung hindi ang kanyang muling pagbuhay sa namatay na si Lazaro. Walang kaduda-dudang namatay si Lazaro. Bakit? Inilibing. Hindi lang yon. Apat na araw ng patay. Kaya nga sabi po ni Marta, Lord, paalalahan ng kita, ikaapat na araw na po yan, may amoy na po. So, ibig sabihin talagang namatay si Lazaro. Pero anong pinakita ni Jesus? Ha, hindi kanya. Luluwalhatiin ng Diyos. Sapagkat ipapakita ni Jesus na ang Diyos ng buhay ay higit pa sa anumang kamatayan. Kaya nga sa bandang dulo, gustong-gusto ko po yung sinabi ng Panginoong Hesus. Antay him, let him go. Ha? Kalagan nyo siya at hayaan nyo siyang pumayaon. Alam nyo po, maaring yun din na sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin sa ikalimang linggong ito ng Kwaresma. Many of us may actually be walking dead mga naglalakad na patay. Patay na ang pag-asa. Patay na. Walang kabuhay-buhay. Patay-patay ang kanilang araw-araw na ginagawa. Ang Diyos, Diyos ng buhay. At sana po, yan po ang ating ihingi ng grasya din sa patuloy nating paghahanda sa Pasko ng muling pagkabuhay. Narito na po ang ating banal na misa mula po sa oratorio ng Mary Queen of Apostles, Society of St. Paul, Makati. Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration from the Sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. Today is the fifth Sunday in the Lenten season. Let us begin the celebration of the Holy Mass.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In our Gospel, Jesus raises Lazarus to life, proving that indeed he is the resurrection and the life. He proves his faithfulness to the will of the Father, even at the cost of his own life. By dying on the cross, in his powerlessness, Jesus gives us the greatest good, eternal life. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners, Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice in supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in His word. More than sentinels wait for the dawn, let Israel wait for the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only in the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him, but if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also, through His Spirit dwelling in you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. The sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, Let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. But Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. He became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. Sisters and brothers, my dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kapag ganito pong ikalimang linggo ng kwaresma, karaniwan pong tinatakban ang lahat ng mga imahin sa simbahan at isa lamang po ang itinitira yung imahen ni Yesu Kristo na nakapako sa krus. Dahil iyan po ang ating pagninilayan, ang pagbibigay niya ng kanyang buhay sa krus para po sa kaligtasan ng sanlibutan. Kapag nakita po ninyong may mga takip na mga imahin, ibig sabihin po sa susunod na linggo, papasok na tayo sa mga mahal na araw. At napakahalaga po na pagnilayan natin yung mga nangyari bago dumating ang mga mahal na araw. Ano yung mga ginawa ni Jesus na nagdala sa Kanya sa Kalbaryo? Bakit siya inaresto, pinarusahan hanggang sa mapatay? Noong pong nakaraang linggo, napakinggan natin si Heso Kristo ay nakilala natin bilang liwanag ng sanlibutan. 
hindi lamang po siya nagbibigay ng liwanag kung hindi siya mismo ang liwanag ng sanlibutan. Akalain ninyo yung isang taong bulag ay nakakita. Noon namang isang linggo, kung natatandaan ninyo, nakilala natin si Jesus bilang siyang tubig na dumadaloy, tubig na mag-aampat sa pagkauhaw ng lahat ng tao. Noong nakipag-usap si Jesus doon sa babae, sa balon, tabi ng balon, no? hindi sa ilalim. Pinakilala ni Jesus ang kanyang sarili na siyang tubig. Na oras na ininom natin, oras na nasa atin si Kristo, hindi na tayo mauuhaw. At ngayon naman po, pinakilala ni Jesus Kristo ang kanyang sarili sa atin bilang siyang buhay at muling pagkabuhay. Yan ang sinabi niya kay Marta at kay Maria. Ito pong dalawang Babaeng ito, magkapatid, ay kapatid ni Lazaro na ayon po sa kwento noong sabihan si Jesus na may sakit si Lazaro, ang sabi ni Jesus, itong kamatayan na ito ay hindi magwawakas dito sa pagkamatay. Kung hindi hahantong sa pagbibigay kapurihan sa Diyos Ama. This will lead to the glory of God, the Father. Meron na hong binabalak si Jesus. Nanatili pa ho siya dun kung saan siya naroroon sa loob ng dalawang araw. E isipin na lamang ninyo, matalik na matalik na kaibigan ni Jesus itong si Lazaro. Itong pamilyang ito, si Maria, si Marta, si Lazaro, pinupuntahan ni Jesus kapag gusto niyang magpahinga, lumayo sa karamihan ng madla. Siguro, para mag-relax-relax ng konti. Pero ito ho, ay panahong ito, pinuntahan niya yung magkapatid. Noong siya pumunta after two days, na ilibing na si Lazaro. Naka-lockdown si Lazaro. Kaya lang forever lockdown. Yun ang nasa isip ni na Marta at Maria. Patay na ho siya, apat na araw nang nalilibing, mabaho na. Pero ang sabi pa rin ni Jesus, igulong ninyo yung bato. Hindi lang ho itinuloy yung istorya kasi ang binasa natin ngayon ay yung mas maiksing version. Pero kung susundan ho ninyo yung mahabang version, ito po ay nasa uh, John chapter 11. Kung bubuoyin niyo yung istorya, pabubuksan ni Jesus yung libingan at sasabihin niya kay Lazaro, Lazaro, lumabas ka. At lalabas ko si Lazaro, tatayo si Lazaro, muling mabubuhay. At tatanggalin nila yung mga kayong lino na nakabalot sa katawan ni Lazaro. Ang sarap sana no, kung meron kang kamag-anak na namatay, mahal na mahal mo talaga. Kung mapagbibigyan nga kahit minsan lang na mangyari yung ganito. Patay na, nailibing na, pero muling nabuhay. Siguro mapapaisip tayo, sino sa mga kamag-anak mong namatay na ang gusto mong muling mabuhay? At kung bibigyan ka halimbawa ng 30 minutos para makapiling lang siyang muli, anong gagawin mo? Siguro, papakainin mo ng paborito niya. Siguro ikukwento mo, ito na po yung mga kamag-anak na dumagdag sa pamilya, ito na yung mga bata. No? Ikukwento niyo yung mga achievements ng family members, punong-puno ng excitement. Ay, maiisip na lamang ninyo itong nangyari kay Lazaro. Excited na excited yung magkapatid. At hindi lang ho yung magkapatid kung hindi buong bayan ng Bethany. Kasi darating yung punto na magkakaroon talaga ng Thanksgiving. Magkakaroon ng isang kainan at yung mga tao na hindi naman imbitado, 
nandun sila sa labas ng bahay. Sisilip-silip sila sa bintana, magmimiron. At kung magay, tinuturo nila, ayun o, namatay na yun, 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 yung nakatayo, nakaupong yun, yung sa gitna, yun si Lazaro. Patay na yun, pero nabuhay. Siguro, sasabihin ng mga nakikinig, ang galing, pambihira. At alam nyo, kumalat sa buong Judea ang pangalan ni Jesus dahil kay Lazaro. At ito ho ang isang dahilan kung bakit pumunta si Jesus sa Kalbaryo. Kung bakit nagsabuatan ang grupo ng mga Hudyo, ang high priest at ang elders of the people. Ito pong high priest, mga puno mga punong pari sa templo, religious leaders. Itong elders, yung mga politiko, no? mga mayayaman, at uh, sila ho yung mga nagbabantay sa pagpapatupad ng mga commandments ng Diyos. Ito yung grupo ng mga Hudyo. At sa isang banda naman, yung grupo ng Romano. Yan, yung mga political leaders. Itong mga Hudyo ang siyang magpapataw ng hatol laban kay Jesus, ng akusasyon laban sa kanya, pero hindi naman nila pwedeng uh, i-execute si Jesus. Kaya ang gagawa niyan ay yung mga Romano. Kaya ho, chosen people, the Jews, at yung mga Romano, mga pagano, kapwa ho, may responsibilidad sa pagkamatay ni Jesus. Yan po ang dahilan kung bakit si Jesus ay inaresto at pinatay. Dahil kitang-kita ng maraming tao na nagtagumpay si Jesus laban sa kamatayan. Kaya ho natakot ang maraming tao dahil lalong-lalo na itong mga leaders, dahil naisip nila, nako, baka mawala na sa amin ang simpatya ng mga tao at lumipat na kay Jesus. Baka magsimula na ito ng isang revolusyon. Alam mo ninyo, napakagandang pagnilayan natin na saan tayo sa storya ngayon na napakinggan natin sa Ebanghelyo. Maaaring Karamihan sa atin, maiisip natin kasama tayo ni na Marta at Maria na nanangis, nanlulungkot dahil nawalan tayo ng mahal sa buhay. O kung hindi man, dahil pare-pareho ho tayong naka-lockdown maliban sa mga frontliners. Kung baga yung pag-ikot ng mundo natin, ay biglang huminto at para tayong nakakulong lahat sa ating bahay na para naman sa ating ikabubuti rin. Ano? Pero may mga bagay tayo na gustong gusto nating gawin, gustong gusto nating puntahan, pero hindi natin mapuntahan, hindi natin magawa. May mga limitasyon, kaya tayo ay nalulungkot. Maaring tayo rin naman ho ay kagaya ng taong bayan na sumusunod-sunod lang kay Jesus, nagmamanman lang, pero wala naman talagang commitment para sa Kanya. Nandun lang sa malayo, nag observe lang, pero wala naman ako talagang uh, kumbaga mahigpit na ugnayan sa Kanya. Ito ho mga panahong ito ng lockdown. Baka ito na yung hamon sa atin. Baka kinakailangan uh, tugunin natin yung paniyayan ni Jesus. Lumabas ka dyan sa libingan. No? Hindi ko sinasabing lumabas kayo sa mga bahay ninyo. Ha? Hindi ko sinasabing suwayay ninyo yung lockdown. Hindi. Kung hindi, lumabas ka sa baka ang iyong pananampalataya ay ako lang at ang aking Diyos. 
Ako lang at ang aking kaligtasan. Paano ako hindi ma-i-infect ng virus? Sana naman hindi hanggang dun lang. Habang ikaw ay naka-lockdown, sana naman maiisip mo rin yung kapwa-tao mo. Sana sa iyong pananalangin ngayong linggo, maipagdasal mo rin ang iyong kapwa. Kapitbahay mo, kamag-anak mo, kahit yung hindi mo kasundo. Alam nyo, kung tayo mananalangin sa ngayon, siguro pare-pareho lang naman yung panalangin natin. Eh. Lord, iligtas mo po yung mga nasa front line. Iligtas mo po kami. Spare us, O Lord, from this virus. Sigurado ko naman, alam na yan ni God. Pero, pero, siguro yung mas malaking hamon ngayon ay kung paano, kung paano natin pakikinggan mabuti yung paanyaya ng Panginoon. Kung paano natin pakikinggan. Ako ba talaga ang iyong buhay? At ako ba talaga ang gusto mong magbigay sa iyo ng bagong buhay? O hinihintay mo lang matapos ang lahat ng ito para babalik ka sa dati mong gawi? Hindi ho pwedeng balik sa dating gawi. Kinakailangan naman sa kalunos-lunos na karanasan nating dinaranas ngayon, hari manawari, meron namang ibubungang maganda ito. Hari manawari, meron namang magandang pagbabago. Dahil ito ho ang hangad ni Jesus. Nung buhay niya si Lazaro, hindi lamang niya muling ibinabalik si Lazaro sa dating buhay. Kung hindi, sigurado ako, mas tumibay ang pagmamahal ng pamilyang ito kay Jesus. Sigurado ako, mas tumibay ang kanilang pananampalataya sa muling pagkabuhay. Ito yung hinihingi ng Panginoon na sana mapakinggan natin. Siya ba talaga ang ating buhay o yung mga bagay na nami-miss natin? Yung ating paglalakwat siya. Yung ating uh, mga hobbies. Yung ating mga travels. Maganda hong itanong sa ating sarili. Dahil si Jesus, ipinapakilala niya ang sarili niya. Ako ang buhay at muling pagkabuhay. Lumabas ka dyan. Huwag kang manatili sa luma mong buhay. Paglabas natin pare-pareho pagkatapos ng lockdown, sana may bagong buhay na talaga tayong hinaharap. Kasama ang Panginoong Hesus. Tumayo po tayo at bilang isang bayan ng Diyos ay dasalin natin ang ating pananampalataya. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the, by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As the celebration of Jesus' Paschal mystery approaches, let us pray to the Father that we may come to share more fully in the life Christ brings us through His suffering, death, and resurrection. We call on the Lord, Lord of life, Hear our prayer. Lord of life, hear our prayer. Little Church, the people of God, Mary Jade, hope to the world ever in agony because of poverty, terrorism, natural calamities, ethnic wars, and man-made disasters. 
we pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. That those who pursue of power, wealth, and pleasure, which bring suffering to their brothers and sisters, may hear the Lord's call to conversion. Let us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. That our hearts may be untuned to prayer, sharing and understanding, and forgiveness, and celebration of Paschal Mystery, we pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. That those who, like Martha and Mary, suffer the loss of their beloved ones, may be strengthened by their faith in Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. God of life, Jesus our Lord has overcome death for us. Help us to rise from our weakness and despair, believing that nothing can ever separate us from your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice, yours and mine, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of, of His Holy Church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us, true man, he wept for Lazarus his friend, and as Eternal God raised him from the tomb, just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by the sacred mysteries to new life. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this 
all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Oh, oh. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold Jesus, the resurrection and the life. He takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake in this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Prayer during Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now, you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I'm about to leave my family, and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence 
through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family, and may Mary be our mother too. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunso, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Please bow your head and pray for God's blessings. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you. The blessings of the Father and the Son. And may the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love, be with you all the way. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace and love of Jesus and Mary. Thanks be to God. Maraming salamat sa ating paring tagapang, tagapamuno at ngayon naman po uh, itong mga linggo bago nga yung Semana Santa, wala muna tayong katikismo bagkus ay patuloy tayong nananalangin sa mahal na ina na tayo po'y ilapit niya sa biyaya ng Diyos, sa personal novena of deliverance through Our Lady of Sorrows. Hail Mary, loving mother of the Redeemer Jesus Christ. 
you stood under His cross in love and faithfulness. You joined yourself to His self-offering and therefore merit to be our mediatrix of graces with Jesus as our sole mediator and source of all graces. Jesus, before His saving death, gave you to us as our mother. Stabat Mater, be with us amidst this hour of death and great anxiety caused by the worldwide spread of the novel Coronavirus 2019. Stabat Mater, stand by and guide policymakers, doctors, researchers. Grant them wisdom. Stand by all the sick, and those infected and affected by this virus, and be their refuge and their healing. Stand by all who have died and bring them home to the Father. Like you, let us open our hearts and ponder that all these things, all these events permitted by God's justice and wisdom, might mean for our conversion, renewal of faith and salvation. Like you at the wedding of Cana, let us always be attentive in charity to others' needs, even as we attend to our own needs and those of our loved ones. Mother of Mercy, with the merits of the cross of your beloved Son Jesus, beg the Almighty Father for a stop of this plague and pestilence now. Pray the loving Father to deliver His creation from the malice of the evil of untimely death, selfishness, indifference, prejudice, fear, hopelessness, and superstitions. With all our knowledge and achievements, we are nothing but wretched sinners. All glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God in three. Hail to you, the Immaculate and Sorrowful Heart of Mary, Lady of Sorrows, Corridemtrix, Mediatrix of Grace, Mother and Queen. Amen. Ngayon naman po ay inaanyayahan namin kayo na maging mission partner dito po sa ating sambuhay apostolate unang-una with your love offerings. Nasa screen po natin ang ating iba't ibang bank accounts na pwede niyong gabitin. Maraming salamat po do sa mga regular na nagbibigay. God bless you more. Pangalawa ho, you can be a kasambuhay Poline Cooperator sa pamagitan po ng pagpapalaganap nyo, information, neto pong ating apostolate, nasa screen po natin ang iba't ibang cable channels na gamit po ng TV Maria na malapit na pong pumasok sa free channel. No? At gayon din po ang iba't ibang Facebook at gayon din ang YouTube account natin. Ipakilala po ninyo ito sa lahat po ng ating mga kaibigan dito sa abroad. At gayon din po, you can be a kasambuhay mission partner by texting us your comments and your mass intentions. Sa ngalan po ng team ng Sambuhay TV at ng St. Paul Audiovisual, si Father Resti de la Peña, si uh, Cleric Ed Dantes at Reverend Kib Di Matatak, iniiwan po namin sa inyo ang pagpala, pagpapala ng ating dakilang Diyos.